The situation between Israel and Egypt appears to be heating up as Egyptian Field Marshal Mohammed Hossein Tantawi said Monday that Egypt will break the legs of those who threaten it and come near its borders, apparently referencing Israel. Tantawi is the head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Armed Forces and the country's de facto leader. His remarks came as a response to Israeli Foreign Minister Victor Lieberman, stating that Israel must take action to neutralize the security threats originating from the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula, which borders with Israel on the south. Earlier this week, Lieberman posted on his Twitter account a link to a story quoting him as warning Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the situation in Egypt was more of a concern to Israel than the situation with Iran claiming the IDF needed to significantly increase the southern command. In the last few days, the media has reported about Israeli-Egyptian relations quite a bit following the cancellation of Egypt's 20-year gas export deal with Israel. The Egyptian natural gas company terminated the contract unilaterally, claiming Israel had not met the conditions of their gas export accord. This accord, which has had Egypt providing approximately 40% of Israel's gas, was heavily criticized by the Muslim Brotherhood and appeared to be very controversial in the Arab world. Though many were alarmed by this new development and wondered whether it would lead to the fall of Israel's peace treaty with Egypt, the Israeli government rushed to downplay the political significance of the cancellation. Netanyahu was quoted as saying that it was actually a business dispute between the Israeli company and the Egyptian gas company, with no impact on Israel's diplomatic relations with Egypt. Senior Egyptian officials were reportedly saying their country would be ready to renegotiate a new contract and resume gas exports to Israel, but then again at a new price and with new conditions. Egypt's gas supply pipeline to Israel is located in the Sinai Peninsula and was attacked and sabotaged over a dozen times by local Bedouin militants since the February 2011 Egyptian uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak. However, in the meantime, and despite many security travel warnings from Israel's foreign ministry, Israeli tourists seem to still be flocking to Sinai to vacation on what they call a piece of paradise. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.